Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Port Astra. I'm still in my pajamas. I slept in a little bit, but I'm ready to get dressed and head out onto the island and see what the villagers are up to. So let's go ahead and pick a new outfit to wear for today. Let's see, what do I have here? So there's a lot of different options here. I really like these cardigans. They're really cute colors and they look super comfortable. And this apron is adorable and you can actually layer the aprons with bottoms so you can have a lot of cool little effects i also really like this sweater this might be cute let's go with this and how about some shorts i have some green shorts that kind of match this pastel skirt is so cute look how it flows when you turn Ooh, these little shorts look adorable i might go with these the denim cutoffs. I have a lot of dresses, but I don't know if I'm feeling like wearing any of them today. How about a barrette? Ooh, or this cap, it could be cute. The flower barrette's adorable. I have a star hairpin. Those are super cute. I could wear a flower in my hair today. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe the pin would be cute. And then let's see, should I wear some glasses? Some fun glasses. I have purpley ones here, teal ones here, and really cute heart shades here. Hmm, I think I'll wear, I think I'll wear these purpley ones. Oh, but the teal ones are really cute too. Should I wear some socks or Oh, look, my sneakers actually match perfectly with my top. Adorable. And how about this teal backpack to go with it? I think that looks good. All right, all ready. Oh, let's go change our hair too. I think I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail today. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, maybe braids would be cute. And what color should I do? Should I be purple, pink? Ooh, the aqua's really nice and it matches my backpack. Why don't I do aqua hair in a ponytail? That looks fun and it means I'll be ready for the day. Keep my hair out of my face and we're good to go. Ta-da! Let's head out. I did change my front room a little bit and I'm really happy with that how it came out so far. I wanted it to look really bright and airy. And can you believe I found this adorable sunshiny yellow couch in a balloon? So cute. I got some bookshelves as well. I found the DIY recipe for that. So I was able to put some shelves and keep my Nintendo Switch out. I also put this aroma pot here which is filling the air with a deliciously fragrant floral scent. I have a little record player here. And I did get over 50,000 HHA points, so I actually got the golden plaque. So I have all three plaques here. And look at my little kitchen area. I think it looks really nice and colorful. Let's eat some toast for breakfast. Okay, while that's heating up, I'll show you this other room. This is my bathroom, but it sort of looks like a spa instead. And I really like it. Look at it. It's kind of like outdoorsy looking and I put lots of plants. There's another little aroma pot here and a little basket with some fresh towels. And this is an outdoor bath. Very fancy. I think I'm going to change the wallpaper to the bamboo wallpaper, but I still need bamboo sprouts. So one of the things I want to look for today is some bamboo sprouts. All right, so let me grab my toast. Oh, it's ready to go. All right, breakfast done. <laughs> let me check my mail and make sure I don't have anything new. I do. Oh, and there's money over here. But let me check this. I have, oh, I bought a new portable record player that I thought would look better in my living room. 
And I have a little note from my friend, Gummy Bear. She said thanks for the bears, because I've been sending her some teddy bears. And I got a new HHA scoring. I got 61,902 points, so I have S rank. Congrats, you've got a bed, a chair, a table, and a closet. Your home is homier than ever. Enjoy the included gift and keep making that home happy. I wonder what it is. Let's check. Upright vacuum. My friend Gummy sent me a shell lamp. How cool. And here's my portable record player. Let's go change that out really quick so I don't have to have it in my pockets all day. So I'm going to go over here and take out the old one and put this. Even though I like the pink, I think the pink looks better in my room and this green one looks better in the living room with all of the plants and stuff. Especially since the living room has a lot of natural colors and everything. So that's cool. Let me see how that shell lamp looks. Wow, that's so cool. What a pretty lamp. It's all iridescent and everything too. Oh, I can't really tell how it would look in the dark because it's so bright. Ooh, we should put that in the bathroom. I think it would look kind of cool. So let me go in here and I'll drop it off there. I'll keep it by the sink. That seems like a good spot for it. That looks good. Wow, it really lights up the room a lot. Actually, I really, really like how much it lights up the room. Perfect. Wow, what a great gift. Thank you, Gummy Bear. Now, let me see what this vacuum looks like. I probably won't put it out on the um, in the room, but... Oh, this looks just like Pinkies. I wonder if I can customize it. Pinkies is um, pink, <laughs> not surprisingly. So I wonder if I can customize mine to be pink too. Let's double check. Nope, it doesn't look like I can. Oh man. Also, one thing I need to do before I head out is make a net because my net broke the other day. So I need to go do that. So I need some tree branches and I need an iron nugget, which I'm pretty sure I already have. So let me go into my storage, get those tree branches and iron nuggets. And let's get building. Let's craft. Let's see. So we need this one first. I do think it's a little bit annoying that you have to like craft a basement base net first, like basically the, the weakest kind of tool and then you can craft the better tool. I would rather just craft it from materials straight from the beginning, like the better tools and everything. All right, all done for now. Good, so now I have a net. Do I have everything? I have shovel right here. I have a net right here. Hmm, am I missing something? I don't really bring my watering can out because I don't really use it very much. That might be it. Well, that's everything I need for now. Oh, my slingshot. Oh, I know where it is. I put my slingshot in my storage because I went to the island, a mystery island, and I didn't want to have to drop it because I wanted to bring back as much good stuff as I could find on the island. Although the island I ended up getting to was really boring. There was no new fruit, no new flowers, it just had river fish that I already had. So it was kind of a boring, kind of a boring little island. I'm gonna plant 10,000 here because um, last time I got 30,000 bells from it. And I'm gonna move it over to my little money grove over here. I have a little grove of money trees. This one's still growing. These I will have to move to another area because they are done, these two in the back. This one is still growing. It's not done yet and this one's ready to harvest so i'm gonna just plant this one here for now and hopefully it will grow before too long oh do you know who lives here marshall i was able to get him to move in through the campground oh my goodness his house is so fancy yeah you made it 
All right, Nami, see if you can answer this. You're driving a car, any kind of car, but where are you driving it? Um, in the city? All right, let me just shift gears into psychic road reader mode. Choosing city streets means you're comfortable with crowds and noise. You live for the excitement. Also, you must be an excellent driver. Let me know if you want to do a road trip. Wow, look at this. So I did not actually visit Marshall's house yet. This is my first time seeing it. Last time I visited him, he was still unpacking. So I didn't get to see what his house would look like. Look at this. He has a blue record player. What a great little cabinet set up here with the drawers. Lots of coffee machines. It's like a tiny little hipster cafe. Oh my goodness. This little um, sink and stove set up here is wonderful. I hope I can unlock the recipe for that soon. Wow, what a f wow, check out this table. It's got wheels and stuff. It's almost like a little cart. What a fancy house. Amazing. So many great details. He has a cafe chalkboard too, but in different color than I have. He has it in brown and black. I bet if he starts building something, his craft table will be here. I noticed that the characters don't always have craft tables. But I have seen them crafting before. It's like it only comes out at certain points. All right, so let's get going. I'm going to get this money. Let's see, how much is this? Ooh, 10,000, here we go. 10K, 10K, 10K. Wonderful. Um, I also thought it would might be cool today to go and invite Goldie to town through the campsite. So um, I discovered that in order to um, get KK to come over, you have to get all of your villagers in. And so far I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I just need Goldie and I'll be good to go. So I'm going to invite her over and then once I get KK to come over and do a concert, um, I think that actually unlocks the terraforming stuff and everything. So let's go over here. I have Goldie's amiibo card here and we're going to invite her over and see what she requests. So I'm going to scan my amiibo. Yep. Get my daily bonus miles and invite amiibo camper. Do you want to use an amiibo? Yes. All right. Please prepare the amiibo. So basically all you have to do is scan the amiibo using your Joy-Con. Yay, Goldie's amiibo. Perfect. Oh, she's adorable. Hello, this is Goldie. What can I do for you? What's that? Are you inviting me to Port Astra's campsite? I'm so excited. I'll start packing my camping gear now. All right, so we'll be able to go over to the campsite and see what her request is gonna be because we have to do a request for the camper three times. They have to come in on three different visits and request something and we have to fulfill their request before they leave that day and, um, and then we can invite them. So let's go over here, over to my campsite. She's already here, that was fast. And let's see what she has to say. Oh, she's having a sandwich. Thanks for inviting me. I plan on overstaying my welcome. Just kidding. All right, let's see. I'm planning to use this downtime to read some of my book backlog. Oh, Goldie is so sweet and bookish. So nice to have a break from the usual chores like this. Woof. It would be great to take home a log bench. Oh, I have the recipe for that already. I can do that. Yes, yes. Okay. So, if you don't have the item that they request, like if you don't have the DIY, they usually give you one, and I love getting new recipes that way. So I'm a little bummed that she didn't ask me to make something cold to completely new, but it's okay. We shall get this request done and ask her to come over to our town, and that will be request number one complete. So let's build, I think it just requires some wood, but I'm gonna double check here. Let's see. It's this bench, log bench. Yeah, it just needs hardwood, which is perfect. I found that it's actually kind of hard to find regular wood, 
it seems like the trees really drop a ton of hardwood and softwood, but not as much regular wood, which is a little bit disappointing because I do end up needing to use a lot of that. And some items, like I did get some of these, where is it? Mm, the iron, these, the iron wood carts and beds and kitchenettes, they all require a ton of wood. So it's kind of a bummer that wood is hard to find, but you just have to take your time. All right, we got her request all done. That was quick. All we have to do is take it back. She, they do keep the item, so keep that in mind. If you were, if they do request something and you think, wow, that would be a cool piece of furniture to have in my house, don't get too attached. You'll have to craft it again because they, they do keep the items that you request. All right, here you go, Goldie. We brought your item. Oh, she's, she's moved on to coffee now. Oh, could it be? Did you make the log bench? It's already. Here you go. Look how cute she is. She even has a pink portable radio. I love the idea of bringing home a log bench made here. Here are the best. I'm so excited. As thanks, I want you to have a, a, a toilet cleaning set. Thanks? Thanks? Thanks, I guess. I, I guess I can put that in the bathroom. Oh. How cute. So let's make sure we do invite her. Here we go. Want to live here? That's so sweet of you to invite me, but I'm just not sure I'm ready to make a big move like that just yet. Another visit might convince me if someone were to invite me back. All right. So that is visit number one done. I do need to invite her over on two different days um, and do two more requests and then she'll move in. So that's cool. All right, let's go talk to the villagers now. I do want to make sure I'm talking to all of them. And look at this. Filbert is here. I moved in Filbert to be right next door to me. Look at this little yard that I've set up for us. It's got chairs, a nice little cozy stove so we don't get too cold out here at night, and some tea. His yard also has this really cute little outdoor faucet. So you can fill up your watering can and water the flowers. Oh, he's out on a snack run. Okay. Let's go see if we can find anyone else to talk to. Do, do, do. And also keep an eye out for these. Yes, message bottle. Oh, Bo's right there too. Uh, let's see what this one... Let's see what this bottle says. Thanks for picking this up. A weird DIY TV show I watched at 2am told me to make this, so I did. Here's the recipe. I put the recipe in the bottle so someone else could make it too. If you make it, scream, I made it! What is it? Oh, an orange wall. Okay. Interesting. I wonder what it looks like. We can check it out here and see. Oh, look at that. Interesting. It's made with oranges. I do have oranges on my island. So this is the other bamboo wall that I was thinking about adding to my bathroom instead of the jungle wall. So I'm gonna do that. Hi, it's me, Bo. Yep, let's chat. I overslept a little today. Me too, Bo, no worries. But that's cool. I gave the bugs in my house some extra quiet time. Ew, bugs. Probably wanna get that checked out. Why does he just have bugs in his house? Let's grab this butterfly. Nice. That's gonna sell for a decent amount of money. Let's see. Oh, here's Gladys. Let's talk to her. So happy to see you, Stretch. What's the latest, Gladys? They say you shouldn't start your day without a plan, but they also say plans are fools, Aaron. So I feel like Gladys tends to talk and not really finish like her thoughts. This has happened a couple of times. She's also said stuff like, I could have sworn I, I smelled my dad's foe, so I gave him a call. And then she just leaves it. And I'm like, and? And? Is that the end of the story? Let's go over here. Maybe. Yes, here. Hans is home. So let's go say hi to him. Ooh, and I'm not another money tree. Nice. I try to group my money trees, but sometimes here and there, I'll have them just planted where it's convenient because I'm in the middle of something. Hey Hans, 
How's it going? Groovy, you came to see me. Has anyone told you you look stunning in your energetic sweater yet? Wow, thanks, Hans. Say, what do you think about my traditional monpee pants? Ha ha ha. Well, today's your lucky day because me clothes are about to be suit clothes. That's Spanish for your clothes. Oh, he's just giving me some pants? Wow, neat. What can I say? Something about that particular look just screams Nami to me. Hmm. Okay. Pretty neutral. Nice little pattern. Thanks, Hans. Bye. Let's go check out. I know Rafina's probably... Is she home? I can't see her. No, she's not home. She's probably somewhere. She does like to walk around a lot. I'm gonna grab this. It's probably a fossil. We haven't had gyroids in this game yet, so every time I come across a crack, I assume it's a fossil. And I haven't seen a pitfall yet, so if you've seen one, let me know. But I have not seen them yet so far. I did move Gladys's house, if you remember, her house was on the other side of the island, because I felt like it was kind of cramping up my marketplace. And let's grab this rock. And let's go ahead and get these resources out. Ooh, a little bug. Gross. I'm hoping I can get some iron. Not just because I need some right this second, but sometimes I end up crafting a lot of stuff and I just don't want to run out and have to keep, you know, going outside and getting more and going outside and getting more. I like to just keep a decent store. Plus, since I've already expanded my house to three floors, or sorry, three rooms, um, I have plenty of inventory space. So we'll grab these as well. Got some clay. I've been using the clay and making pictures and stuff and putting them around town. So it's nice that I'm getting some clay right here. Oh, I didn't get the last one. Oh man. Oh well. So we'll grab these. And get rid of these ugly holes. Oh, look who's there in the forest. Do you see her in the distance? It's Sahara. Yes, more rugs. More mystery wallpapers. Luckily, I have plenty of money. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far, to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs of the medium space between. The design is seen after buying. I have also mysterious flooring and wallpaper. I am so ready to buy. Yes. Give me one of each. I might even have some extra um, tickets left in my storage, so I'll have to go grab those. I'm going to take a small rug and I wonder what I'm going to get. I love seeing the different rugs. Okay, and then of course you get a bonus ticket. So I got a small rug, so I get one ticket. Thank you. Yes, okay, wait, Sahara, come back. I'm going to buy a medium rug as well. I haven't really had a, a use for the large rugs yet because I think the only one so far that I've gotten, I think, is the purple Persian. And I, I don't remember anyone else, anything else. I have a heart rug. I actually have two heart rugs, which is the medium one, I think. And here is my exchange ticket. I'll get two. And then... I'm going to buy the large rug and get three more tickets. And then I'm going to try to get a wallpaper. And if I don't, I'm going to run back home and see if I have extra tickets. And if I have five total, I'm going to get a, a flooring, mysterious flooring as well. Please give me the large rug. Thank you. Ah, oh, my favorite size. Now, please, I will accept the money payment. Thank you. When customer smiles, my heart and purse grow one size bigger. Okay, she's gonna ask me if I wanna exchange them because I have five. Yep. All right. I'm gonna get a wallpaper first. Let's see, mysterious wallpaper, please. In that case, five of the exchange tickets I will take from you now. What is it, what is it? I can't wait. 
Okay. So let me check. So it looks like I still have one ticket left. Fluffy rug, shanty mat, and an ivory small round rug, and a oh summit. Oh, that sounds like like a mountain background or something. Let's go back to my house really quick, so I can grab the extra tickets and if I have any, and then let's also test out those rugs. And then I think we should also hit up the shops. Timmy and Tommy shop, um, Nook shopping, and then of course the Evil Sister shop as well, and see what they have for sale. And. And then I'm going to keep talking to the villagers. So, uh, let's see. What's a good spot? I guess I could stand here and test out the small round mat. This thing, I think this is, yeah, this is very similar um, to the yellow mat that I got before. And this is actually so cute. I think it goes really well in this room. I'm going to have to find a spot for it. Um, thinking, like, maybe here. I do like how this sort of, like... The rectangle sort of sections off the living room though so we'll see um fluffy rug oh that's adorable wow that's cute i might add that to my bedroom and then the shanty mat which i'm going to actually remove this for now because i know this shanty mat is the large one oh cool it's like um it's like reeds or something like straw or reeds Okay, cool. And then let me test out the summit wall. Whoa, this is so neat. How cool would this be for a room for a character that really likes climbing or like the outdoors? You can put the cool little mountain bike they have. And I know there's a climbing wall because my husband has one. I think I got it in a balloon and gave it to him. Um, and you could put the terrain shoes and you could put the explorers outfits out on like little dress forms and stuff It'd be so cool. What a great um, wallpaper Okay, so let me double check and see if I have any more tickets Oh, I don't Really? I could have sworn I had extra but I might have used them All right, so we'll go back and we'll get another mysterious um, we'll get a mysterious flooring, but I'll just pay bells for it. And I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in my storage for now because I'm not going to be using them. I try not to um, miss out um, when she's in town because I think some of her items are just so cool. Like some of them are animated. Like I think Hans's, um, Hans's um, wallpaper with the, with the falling snow that actually moves must be one of the mysterious wallpapers. Wow, look at this espresso machine. And this, is this a pink fax machine? I mean, I never send fax faxes or anything or have any use for a fax machine, but it's pink. I'm so tempted. Um, let's go ahead and sell these. So we'll just sell those butterflies and fish. Nice, 10K. Perfect. Well, I'm definitely going to get this little machine over here yep I'll take it 5k seems like kind of a lot but I'll take it and then what is this is this like a freezer yeah it is I, I don't think I want this I think I'll pass I don't really have a good spot for it in my house and I don't know it looks a little industrial let's see what kind of wallpapers they have today so they have green painted wood wall I have the pink one of that a lattice wall this is a wall that's actually in my room right now, the pink quilt wall. Blue diner wall is really neat. Super cool. There's beige de desert tile flooring, monochromatic flooring, brown floral, and jointed mat. I'm kind of tempted to get this just to have um, because I don't know when it'll pop up in my shop again. Like I said before, I want to do themed villager houses like um, with player characters, extra player characters. So. Just in case I decide to do one that's, um, that is, um, you know, like a restaurant or something, it might be cool. Also, just in case you haven't noticed this, because I didn't, um, there's actually more recipes here. And I was, like, ignoring it because I kept saying, like, oh, it's, it's just the flimsy shovel, it's just the flimsy axe, I already have these recipes. And totally overlook these two here, the test your DIY skills and the wildest dreams DIY those unlock more recipes like for tables and 
chairs and sinks and all that stuff so definitely go buy these if you haven't already i actually don't know what this one is i don't remember maybe i'll try it it's only 480 so if it's a duplicate it's fine it's just a little more than the other recipes the the tool recipes are so i'm hoping it will unlock a couple more recipes but if not it's it's fine if it's a duplicate it's fine okay airdrop it to me timmy and we're done i hope you enjoy diy even more it says new recipes let me let me check my phone let me double check my phone um so let's go to diy recipes and what go over to the everything tab oh we it is new a fry pan okay so fry pan stone stool wash tub and an ocarina okay cool i don't know if i will need those right now but that's cool to have actually i already have an ocarina um or ocarina because my friend gave it to me she came to my we um she came to my town and and dropped it off for me okay so let's find sahar really quick so i can get that last um mysterious flooring from her I don't think you can i don't know if you can buy more than one per day but i i know she's mentioned the limit in the past i just don't know how much it is like i know if you buy the rugs they all come in only one variety per day so if i bought another small rug it would just be another ivy rug and i was able to purchase mysterious flooring and wallpaper once with bells once each with bells but i don't know if i get to purchase like another wallpaper because the first one i turned in was with tickets or the first one i got was with tickets okay yes give me give me some flooring exciting i hope it's not dirt flooring let's see what did i get lava okay I bet that's gonna look pretty cool. Oh wait, did I not put this away? Oh, that's the one I just bought. Let me try and buy another wallpaper from her and see if I can actually buy wallpaper and exchange for wallpaper. Okay, no, I can. It does seem like I can. Cool, cool. I'm gonna also double check if she'll let me buy another flooring. Surely your eyes will grow wide. like. Mouse of yawning beluga whale. Your heart will race when you see it. Really? Let me see. Okay. One per day. But it seems like we can trade. So if I just go and buy like a bajillion rugs. Desert Vista. How cool. Okay. That's neat. So I talked to Bo already. There's another peacock butterfly there. So I'm going to grab that. Oh. Oh, come on why am i bad at this oh and there's also a fossil there we go gotcha i already talked to gladys oh yes i just want to make sure to thank you they say you've been trying to get kk to notice our island so he'll come perform here yes she'll probably give me something i'm grateful to you for trying to make this happen between you and me i think i might be the biggest kk fan on the island Actually, I have something right here that might help. I thought maybe you could use my hose reel. Uh, maybe I'll put this by the campsite. It might look cool there. One thing to be careful of, um, if your villager's paying you and you have a tool in your hand, try putting it away before you go up to talk to them. Because I ran over with a net in my hand when Pinky pinged me and I accidentally whacked her with a net and it like, it like reset whatever she was going to tell me because when i talked to her she didn't have anything important to say she just was like oh hey do you want to chat instead of having like a specific thing to tell me and i was like what just happened did i just reset her brain plucky let's chat i think i left my picnic basket at my last place it's not like i used it much but still oh that's too bad let's check out the evil sister shop really quick and see what's in here and then how many fossils have I dug up? I feel like I have a lot in my pockets. So I should head over to um, the museum soon. Oh, Philbert's here. He's looking at clothes. I heard that someone from any aisle designed this. Pretty neat. Philbert is adorable. I stopped in his house the other day and he and Marshall were just hanging out and listening to music 
and Marshall actually started singing along to the music, which is so, so cute. Bulldog jacket. So got a whole bunch of jackets here today. Mountain parkas, safety vest, text shirt. What does it even say? I can't read that. Laughter, believe. Is this, is this a live, laugh, love shirt? No. What is this? Noble pants. Okay. Pleather skirt. There's some kimonos here. It's cute. I love the patterns. Old commoners kimono. Oh my gosh. How cute. I like the red and the yellow. Pilot's uniform. Retro dress. Visual punk wig. Whoa. Look at my hair. That's crazy. Pilot's cap. That's cute gas mask i already own one of those and lots of cool tights very cool i have these i actually have them as leggings i think wow pretty cool Ooh, i might get a pair of striped socks but they don't have pink blue i do have the black ones which are very handy some toppy socks that's cool yellow shoes oh look at these adorable little flats and then winkle pickers excuse me what the heck are winkle pickers what kind of name is winkle pickers oh there's also some walking shoes these look like very comfortable shoes i think i have the round toe pumps these ones are cute too hmm to be honest i kind of want this old commoners kimono and i'm trying to see if i want it in yellow or red let me know in the comments which one you think is the cutest blue oh blue's cute too oh man they're all cute i'm kind of leaning towards the yellow though it looks so bright and happy so i think i'm gonna go for that and i'm not gonna get these um shoes but i might get these socks because i actually have a pair of blue zori at home because um wisp actually gave me a pair so maybe i should wear the blue one the blue one is really cute yeah let's do that and what else is there i think that's it i think that's all i want from here today not any there's no hair clips or anything hmm. okay so i'm getting i think the dress and the socks let's go I'm going to actually put it at home, leave it at home because I don't have the whole outfit with me and I'll get changed later because I still want to run around. Look at this adorable little work apron thing. I am going to get it. You'll notice that she actually put that in my inventory, but with the other stuff, if you get it from the dressing room, it will either send the outfit you're currently wearing home if you decide to change into your new outfit or it will send the new stuff you bought to your home which is super convenient but i thought it's interesting that she did not send the other stuff home um i set up this little bench here see the shell fountain it's very pretty i set up this little bench here and i thought it was like a cute little spot to kind of chill after you've done some shopping kind of relax put your feet up a little and then also this little snack area right here is here if you need some refreshments. Let's head over to the museum and I'm gonna drop off those fossils. So, let's go. oh yeah, and I also put this fountain here. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last video, but yeah, I think it looks so cute. Add some, it adds some class to the museum. I'm thinking about adding a fence around the museum, but I'm not sure exactly how I want it to look yet. I haven't found the right fence. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bladders, for bothering you so early in the morning, but I do have some fossils for you to assess, which I'm sure you'll be very excited about. Four, even. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, more than one. I found something that's not yet part of our esteemed collection. It is magnificent. Okay, so usually when he says something like that, it means some of the stuff are duplicates, but there's at least one new one. I'm finding a surprising amount of duplicate fossils. I thought I would find more unique ones, at least 
you know, I haven't really been playing that many days. But, um, it seems like there's a lot more duplicates. I'm not complaining necessarily. See, out of four, only one. I'm not necessarily complaining either, because they do sell for quite a bit of money, which I do need. So, it's not terrible, but it's just a little surprising. Could it be? A Dippo skull? Dear me, might I give you a short presentation? Um, sure. Why not, Blathers? I feel bad for waking you up. Wonderful. It says fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Good old Diplodocus. What would we do without you? The stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its center of gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life, having no adult size. Would that we were all so gifted. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, thank you. I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Okay, Marshall. I love what they've done here with this stone. Just think of the potential. I am a dancer. This is my canvas. What do you mean dancers don't use canvas? I'm a dancer painter. What? Marshall, are you okay? I feel like that didn't make any sense. And then Ambrofina's up here, so let's go chat with her. My dear, isn't this weather divine? I tell you, clear skies like this make me feel like anything is possible. So I think I'm going to wrap up here. I think I did kind of a lot today. Talked to all the villagers, got some fossils, um, talked to Sahara and got a bunch of cool wallpapers and stuff. Let's go actually double check really quick and see what those wallpapers looked. Desert Vista, which I'm assuming is just going to look like pyramids and stuff. Yeah it does and then i also got the lava flooring whoa it's moving how cool is that floor is lava floor is lava oh my gosh how cool i absolutely love this part of the game oh and also let me check the blue diner wall oh how interesting it has like tons of little signs and pictures that's neat my house looks a little all over the place right now. <laughs> all right. So like I said, I think I'll wrap up here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode and re enjoyed running around with me a little bit. Um, I'll be back soon with more videos. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel and helps um, me a lot. And then also, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscription button. And also hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to when my next video goes up. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos and just taking you along as I develop Port Astra. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Mm -hmm.